Hey, I want to introduce you to a powerful tool, document.net. Uh, document.net gives you API to do everything with a document in PDF, DOCX, RTF, HTML, and text formats. We are starting a series of articles on forms and bookmarks and how to use them with Document Builder. Firstly, you need to create a folder and name it Document Builder. Secondly, launch a Visual Studio and create simple console application. In my case, a project name and builder and save it in the folder created before. Okay, now using a new get, let's install the specific component for creating and manipulating documents. This solution is called document.net. If you don't have access to NuGet, you can download this solution directly from the developer site. Links to the API and sample code in the description for this video. We installed the component and now we need to add new namespace using sodinsoft and using sodinsoft dot document we need to specify that we will use document core and document builder document builder is a powerful class that is associated with a document and all of dynam document building from scratch or the adding of new elements to an existing documents. In this color sample, I will show you how to insert three bookmarks inside. Bookmarks can overlap and span any range. To create a valid bookmark, you need to call both start bookmark and end bookmark with the same bookmark name. You may save a result of PDF or DOCX file. To insert a bookmark into the document, you should do the following. Call star bookmark, passing it the desired name of the bookmark. Insert the bookmark text using a document builder methods and call end bookmark, passing it the same name that you used with star bookmark. Let's add a line break and save our intermediate result. We will save our result like docx format. By the way, you may use PDF or HTML instead. Launch our color sample. You see, it created bookmark number one. Now we need to repeat these strings of code for adding bookmark number two and bookmark number 3.
Hmm. Let's add a line break to make the result more structured. We got the result and now we can jump through bookmarks. You can watch more videos and code examples on our website or YouTube channel. Thank you.